today on Eric the Car Guy. Really? It's just what I didn't want to do. It's never gonna work. Yes! These things work better if I put them on my ears. Why can't you just come out? Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy back again and I'm still working on my 2000 Integra Type R. Last time we removed the fuel tank and some other rusty parts from the rear suspension. Since I've seen you last, I did some cleanup work on the front suspension and those components, but it's been a little too cold to paint, but these things are all prepped out and ready for paint. And that's what I plan to do next with these. However, today, what I'd like to do is go back underneath the car and see if I can get the rest of that rear suspension out because I know it's gonna be a fight. And you're probably going to enjoy my suffering. You're welcome. The parking brake cables are laying around underneath there and I keep getting tangled up in them and I'm one fastener away from removing them. I'm gonna do that. I lied, it's two fasteners. You may remember from last time, the fasteners that hold that rear suspension on are putting up a fight. The bolts have seized inside of the bushings and well, that's a big problem. My weapon of choice today is uh, gonna be this vibration impact shock socket set from Astro Pneumatic. I'll link it somewhere for you to find it. But it goes onto your air hammer like this. And instead of applying a twisting force, this is gonna apply a hammering force. And between this and hopefully some penetrating oil, I'm gonna be able to knock that bolt loose from the inside of that bushing. Otherwise, I'm faced with cutting things on the ground, which I'm really not into. But I'm hoping that this shocking motion and the penetrating oil helps knock things loose enough for me to get those bolts out, and then I can get the rest of the suspension out. This is the fun part, people. This is the impact gun that I was using last time from Milwaukee. This time, well, we use the big guy. This guy's got a lot more torque. So if it comes to it, well, I believe I have the tools to do the job. Let's find out. <laughs> I'm really gonna try to get it down inside the bushing is what my hope is here. I mean, you can see that it's, it's busted loose from the backside, so it's come loose there, but it is not coming out of that bushing. Well, there goes the bushing. <laughs> Bushing spinning too. <laughs> okay. That sucks. Diamond tipped. Okay. That one's out. Give this guy a try. It doesn't run out of air. And I just swap batteries when it gets low. It's never gonna work. Take that. We need to tie the caliper up and we can take the strut out and the uh, lower control arm and it all should drop down and then we can mess with the rest of the stuff and not lay on the ground for this side. <laughs> Still got to do the other side. This is the most difficult part of this, and I've encountered this more than once. And you might have even seen me do this in previous videos. This is the toe adjustment for that rear control arm. So there's a little 
little arm that comes off of here that attaches to it that allows this to move back and forth. Now what happened was is the nut that's basically captured back here in the side of this assembly came loose. The only way to get to it is to cut this open. Now I've got a welder. I'm going to come back in and weld this shut. I want this to be able to slide back and forth so that you can do the adjustment. It was all bent out of shape, you know, I, I had to beat it up to get the old uh, bolt and bushing out of there. But now, I believe I've got things back to where they're going to work. So this is the bolt on the other side. It's the same bolt that goes in this side. So it seems like that's all in there and ready for adjustment. Aside from closing this up and welding it and grinding it down and making it look like it never happened. You and I will know, but no one else will. Yes! Sweet! Oh, that is very promising. You see the difference. <laughs> Finally got the rear suspension out. <clears throat> now, the rest of this is likely going to be a fight. Uh, but it's a fight here on the ground, not a fight with me laying on my back. First uh, order of business is to remove this ABS sensor. Rear ABS sensors on Acura Integras are prone to go bad. So I want to be very careful with this and make sure that nothing happens to it. So I will start by removing it. We're going to be very careful with this guy. <laughs> I guess this is like front wheel bearings. So we'll be very careful of this race. Trading oil too cold. Yeah. It's a victory every time that happens. Like, every time. I have new ones of these. At least now it's easier to cut. So I can cut on that side, I can cut on that side. Cut on that side, I can cut on that side. Now I have to hunt down these bushings because I don't believe I have these or new lower control arms, which type R might be a little tricky to find. Either way, uh, I'm happy to have all this finally apart. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is clean this stuff up and I also want to replace these trailing arm bushings, which FYI, the ones I got are for a CRV. And if you're not in the know, <laughs> most of the parts for a type R are CRV, including these rear trailing arms. 
So, I, you know, if you're looking for parts and you can't find them for a Type R, you might be able to find them for a CRV. I'll show you those part numbers here in a second. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the fight today. Um, if you have automotive questions, EricTheCarGuy.com is always there for you. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I'll see you next time. <laughs>